Welcome to How to You View, and today we'll be talking about understanding cost effects, the hidden rule. In a previous video, we had explained cost effects and what they are. But in this video, we're going to go a bit deeper into cost effects and what they mean and how they are relevant in terms of instigating a hidden rule that appears in Yu-Gi-Oh! First of all, there are certain instances where cost effect cannot be negated. This happens a lot of times, but to understand why this happens and why there are certain instances why you cannot negate a cost effect, A cost effect is an effect of either a monster, spell or trap that allows a player to do an effect that requires a form of payment, either in life points or losing some form of advantage either in the hand, field or graveyard. With that in mind, and with what I have just now said earlier, let's go back to the hidden rule and as to why cost effects at times cannot be negated. The reason for this is that cost effects also go hand in hand with the activation cost of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! The activation cost of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! which is also labeled as a cost effect cannot be negated. Let me give you an instance of a cost effect and how you cannot negate it. For example, we have a card known as Divine Wrath. Divine Wrath is a counter trap that has the following effect. When a monster effect is activated, discard one card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that monster. Then we have the monster that we're going to discard, which is called Fabled Catsip. The Fabled Catsip has the following effect. When this card is discarded to the graveyard, select one face-up card on the field and destroy it. So, let's say my opponent negated the activation of Divine Wrath. Because I activated the price of Divine Wrath, i.e. I had to discard one card to negate the activation. And if I do destroy that card, yes, my opponent has negated the effect of Divine Wrath, but because of the ruling of cost, I still have to discard a card from my hand to resolve the effect. Now, you listen to this and you might think, this sounds stupid, this sounds wrong, and this is completely counterintuitive to the game. But understanding this allows you to understand that activation cost in Yu-Gi-Oh can never be negated. It is impossible. And cards that have effects that require activation cost always can't be negated. And there are times such as these that you can manipulate these to your advantage. For example, in that situation, because my opponent negated Divine Wrath, I would get to discard Fabled Cat Sith. And Fabled Cat Sith would activate its effect because it was discarded by an effect. And I'd get to destroy one face-up card my opponent controls. This is an example of manipulating a hidden rule in Yu-Gi-Oh! to your benefit. Remember, activation cost cannot be negated. Understanding this can allow you to influence the game. Just by knowing that activation costs cannot be negated, it can give you an advantage. It can allow you to get out of seemingly unwinnable situations where your stuck behind a wall or where your opponent has overwhelming strength and you can't seem to get out. You can't seem to win. You can't seem to find a way to get out of a really unwinnable situation. In these instances, it is alright to use the knowledge of the hidden rule. The hidden rule in Yu-Gi-Oh, albeit not many people know about it or even understand that it's there, is important because it shows that cards and their activations cannot be negated, but effects can always be activated, and effects and their activations can be the key to you as a player winning 
the game. Like and subscribe, hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.